Looks like your lung full on disengages. That's not correct. He just blink. We're gonna murder. While she casts that, she's pretty stable, so it's pretty easy to kill her. We get the third kill. Can we secure Arthur here? We might be able to, but I oh don't know. Gap unfortunately is here. He tries to get me to the best of his ability. We have a lot of MP5, so running out of mana is not a problem here. We get the fourth kill. What is up beautiful people, it's Seladon here, welcome back to my channel, coming at you with another video of Hell and Conquest in mid. Company here by what looks like a Mulan jungle. Uh, it's casual conquest, not ranked experience, so I guess that's not the worst pick. Starting off at the speed buff as per usual. We also have a new uh, support unfortunately, so I anticipate this game to be pretty hard. We're against the Nox in mid, which is not a very often occasion. She has pretty decent clear if she positions herself correctly. But we're gonna probably, most probably, out clear her quite well. Yeah, we we'll start putting pressure. She's way up, out of position. She should have anticipated me going in. Ooh, can we kill her? Oh, that was close. I took one tower shot. That's totally, totally normal. If she pushes up, I'm gonna murder her. Damage isn't quite there yet again. Looks like Mulan is struggling against her Lang Sheng, which is totally understandable. She should be struggling against him. Even more poke. I keep her poked out, but her potions run pretty good. She missed the root, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna pressure the Erlang out. Maybe put some more damage on him. Good stuff. I guess I'll just keep them engaged while Mulan takes the red buff. I hope she can secure it well. Yeah, she did. We need to help now. Oh, she's disengaged. She shouldn't be. I can kill him here. Good stuff. Unfortunately, dual in fed, but... And we didn't get the first blood, but that was a pretty good play. We have a mage as a support and he manages to harass already. Gotta apply some more pressure, a little bit more poke. She's still, still level 2, she had to make an early back. Gonna mute this man right here, not pay attention to this bullshit anymore. I wish more people did that, like... This Jingwei is probably gonna be typing most of this game, which is really, really unfortunate and distracting. Gonna mark these minions while she clears them and just go for the mid. Ah, oh, that didn't reach. I'm running out of mana here, but I opted for Mage's Blessing and Tier 1 uh, Chronos Pendant, so we have pretty significant amount of MP5. We can already insta-clear the wave. Basically, with without even full boots. Oh, hello, Earl. I'm in a bit of trouble, but we're gonna just retaliate back. The important to juke that, we did. Oh, he's actually level 3. Why are you even here, man? Just go farm. Overall, we have more pressure, more poke. Yeah, Nox is very, very hard to poke. She can only secure the kill. And that's in case I don't have beats. But she is not successful with hitting her stuff. Oh, she already grabbed it. Still got the poke. I can kill her. That was a shield. Gap's here. Alright. I don't know why Gap is here, but he saved her ass. Ah, oh, that didn't reach. If that reached, that would have been lit. She got her? No, she got an Aegis. Oh, that's an ult under tower. Very unfortunate. And she, for some reason, went for the Gib. Despite being able to clearly murder Nox there. Can I kill him? Oh, good play, good play. I didn't reach, but I'm still alive. Oh, that's a Lang Sheng. Now I'm no longer alive. But I managed to launch my one, so I still got the Gib. 
two autos will do it. Uh, we got some gold from the chalice. Poke. Oh, that didn't connect. I, I, I would have bet my left nut that it would connect. That was really weird. Hello, Geb. I don't know why Nua is here. Oh, yeah, Nua is a support. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know why we have support Nua, though. That is fine. Not a big deal. It's a casual game, so if somebody will feels like new uh, might be a good idea for support and wants to try it, where else would he do that? Okay, this Geb is playing risky. I can do a lot of poke here. Good juke. Ooh, look at that damage. We need to heal her up, otherwise she's gonna die. This Geb should be dead if I don't miss. I didn't. Need to hit Mulan. Oh, she immune my healing. What the hell was that? That was like super unfortunate. I can kill you, man. Like, don't even walk at me. He goes for our smalls. That's unfortunate. I guess I can apply more poke, but he warded. He see me coming. Mm -hmm. We got the big one. It's fine. Do you want to turn? Brad Tusker is not paying attention. He's probably going to get murdered now. Yep. Can we save him? We didn't save him, but we got two return kills. Traded for one. That's pretty good. I'm not sure if Ratatoskar is sarcastic or not, but that was a good rotation. So we're back in the mid lane. We got two kills. Uh, we got the counter kills. Uh, we sent the jungler back, and we're still out farming the Nox. So that's pretty good. Hell has a lot of pressure, man. Some even put her as high as ST right now in mid. I, I wouldn't put her as high. I don't feel she's that strong. Okay. But still, uh, no new ultimate, huh? She still has, should have an Aegis, so that wouldn't have killed her, but at least getting that... Gab is coming mid. Yeah, that means that we can easily secure this. Um, Mulan is way... Out of position. I don't know what she's doing there. Hello, Geb. You have a word here? I don't think you do. Get some poke. Damn, he's tanky. That's his shell. I don't know why he would use that here. That's Sir Longsheng. We have to back off. He's looking for me. He didn't knock me up, so he probably won't be able to kill me here. Good rotation by Ratatoskr. Very, very good knockup. Ooh, we need to save her. I can poke him out. He should not have magic defense. Oh, that was a good, <laughs> good, but very lucky ultimate evasion. More poke. Um, Ratatosco got out of position. We can still murder somebody. Yeah. We trade solo laners. It's fine. Mm, good jukes. I feel like this Nox is not a bad player. She's just she's just Nox, you know. She dashes aggressively. Knew I should be dead. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I want to do about that because we have a new support. So I'll just back off over here. Ooh, that's her lung. I should be dead. Let's heal up to the best of our ability. Can I still walk out on him? He actually allowed me to live. That was weird. Geb was also there to provide a shield for him. He should have definitely go for it. I should have been dead, but he just didn't commit. I have way too much gold. Need to back here. Well, at least our new way is building like she should. It might have been worse. She might have went full magical power and that wouldn't have worked entirely. Got my smalls. <laughs> what a gamer. Do they see me? I can get some poke. I did not succeed with that. Hello, Nox. What you doing? You know I can kill you, right? I missed a couple abilities. We didn't get enough. We need to juke that. We successfully do. She's safe inside that big rock. Thanks. That's something that a lot of Nox players don't utilize a lot, but right now with the current meta with Guardian being in mid all the time, 
That's actually pretty viable strategy. We heal up to full, they're still poked out, quite severely too. Nox is uh, wasting her clear here, so we're gonna have even more pressure on the next wave. I need to put a point in my two, like not having it at all. It's not as much of a damage spike to not have it completely. Good play. Erlang is behind us. We can actually murder the man. Yeah, he recognized that. <laughs> that was not the place to be. Oh, you should not be stopping for this, my man. I wish I had my two, you see. That would allow me to murder him. Red buff spawning. Gonna grab that. Yeah, the little damage spike on the additional level on one of my skills is really not worth as much. Uh, uh, it's definitely a mistake to not have two. Especially considering Gap is here all the time, have a lot of CC. We're gonna pop ourselves on him just to allow ourselves a dash away. I thought maybe Erlang can blink through the wall or something like that, so that was a good play. I don't think he expected me to walk into him. Get more poke. Nope. Even more poke, I guess. She has to dash out. Fortunately, Mulan doesn't dash after her, like she already did before. Somebody just backed. I assume that would be Geb, right? Nothing on the map. Can we pop this speed buff? Nah, it's not here. Fortunate. Nothing in the left jungle. Apparently, uh, Orlang should be somewhere around. He just cleared that. And these boys are back. And Gap is getting... Becoming more and more annoying with that defense now. But as long as I focus on the Nox, he's not a healer, he's just a shield. If I time my poke uh, properly, she still will have to back. But overall, he allowed her to return properly because our new uh, is a detriment and he's a good support. Okay, we are going for support for some reason. Gonna slow him down. I should not be doing what I'm doing, but I really don't want her to die just yet. Yeah, that's ju that's just bad. We juke that properly, which is nice, but Mulan, just no chances there. Get some more poke. I slow them down. Ratatasker is going in, what looks like. So let's try and help him. Okay, he secured the mid. That's nice. We can still fight. I have a lot of damage here. Okay, we're gonna return, we're gonna cleanse. That didn't work out, but Prolang is now in position to be killed. If I hit that, ooh, hello Arthur. Okay. I don't think I can save here. But it doesn't look like we need to save anything. We're actually doing a pretty good job here. Get more poke on the Arthur. Heal up even more. Just keep these boys alive, even though Niwa barely does anything. But keeping Ratatoskr alive is important. Unfortunately, speed buff just came up. And Jingwei is not paying attention to the fact that we can get the Gold Fury for free. We're gonna force that. It's a casual match. Sometimes you just need to do those things, you know. I'm Dollar is walking here, so he's not gonna be here in time. Oh, Arthur is actually one versus four. We should murder this. Unless I miss my one. Now we have to back off. Jingwei gets soloed by Heimdall, like she was getting soloed this whole match. It's not a big deal. It's an unfortunate, but not a very big deal. I think somebody blinked just now. Am I in trouble here? Uh, I probably am. I need to heal up like big time. Yeah. So for some reason Heimdallr has Aussie in his kit. So we're gonna build some Divine Rune to prevent that. Because also Erlang and Arthur are healing insane amounts. Erlang with his ultimate and Arthur just has to build Gladiator Shield. That's one of the means he survived. He have a word here but it's fine. He got away. 
Can I still chase him down with a blink and everything? He should have stopped here somewhere. No? He legit just ran away completely. And he was out of position. Uh, she's gonna get jumped by Rolang, as she should. Can we grab this? I was expecting... Oh, I am actually out of position myself. But we have a lot of healing and I have a cleanse for his bullshit. He wasted his ult. And I wasted my bees, so I guess it's a win for him. Oh, hello, Geb. That's Arthur here again. And Ratatusker is in left lane, so we have to disengage. But my team decides to fight. As if they don't realize that Nox is about to come in any second now. We need to back off and allow my team to back off. I don't know why Mulan is fighting three people. Um, how hard it is to count till three. She obviously gets murdered, but I think we can still turn me. Ooh, hello, Heimdall. What you doing? <laughs> that was not the play, my man. I need a cleanse. I didn't cleanse anyone, I don't think. Um, looks like your lung full-on disengages. That's not correct. He just blink. We gonna murder. While she casts that, she's pretty stable, so it's pretty easy to kill her. We get the third kill. Can we secure Arthur here? We might be able to, but oh no, Gap unfortunately is here. He tries to get me to the best of his ability. We have a lot of MP5, so running out of mana is not a problem here. We get the fourth kill. No streaks there, so no quadras or anything, but that's four people murdered. I need to hit her. He cannot deal as much damage as he wants. Not even close to unheal me. Mm, will that be a five? No, we didn't get the fifth kill. It's fine. Their team just gradually engages with us, which is completely not the play. They should not be doing this. They engage us one by one, just going back and forth. That's not how you do it. You need to group up. We have a lot of gold. Enough to get the Divine Runes, so we're gonna just secure our jungle, back off and get that. I really wish he would TP on that thing, but I don't think he makes the same stupid mistake twice, right? That's some poke. I can still fight him, as long as I juke properly. That's his ult. Oh, that's a wall. Will he get out again? That was not a bad play, actually. He popped his Aegis, and he just stood there. I never thought he could do that. That's pretty sweet, actually. So this is one of those unique mechanics that very, very rarely you can apply Aegis in that way. Like Jean Kui comes to mind immediately, where you just pop your ultimate, pop everything, like, apply your one, and just straight up Aegis and stand in the middle of a fight while they take the full brunt of the damage trying to burn you down. That's different, but it's like very similar. We're getting the gold fury, so I'm trying to be annoying here and just position myself to allow them to get something. I cannot heal that guy enough. He's being jumped by three people. Well, we got the gold, so it's fine. There was no uh, reason to die here, but we still got it. But it's still better for us, as long as all these boys don't die. I don't think they realize that Nuwa is a support, so she's pretty tanky with her stupid build. Looks like Jingwei is going full on for the Phoenix. I hope they don't realize that. Oh, that was a good Aegis. I was pretty sure that she's gonna die. They still are not backing. We're still getting kills. Yeah. Knew I murdered something and also stopped them from back and still so that phoenix is secured. And we still have a lot of pressure because I can heal everyone back and we still pushing in the mid. They now miss two people. And Erlang just pushing out the wave and right so this tower is also free. I wish Jingwei joined us we can go for the next phoenix easily here. But we need her damage on the objective. The cleanse from the Gibbs shield saved him here. Whew, that's a beads. 
That's a hard no. I baited him for as long as I could, but he still survived. Looks like Gip is going down. He still have his ultimate. That's weird. Just look at our sustain. They keep doing that and I keep healing and since I have insane amount of MP5, it just doesn't work for them. Well, it finally did. But Ratatasker goes back in, so we're gonna go back in as well. As long as they don't focus me, it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, Erlang should be dead here. He's very much slowed. Uh, knocks out of position, but for some reason we blink away from her, not after her. That's only Arthur. He cannot defend that, and I still have a lot of healing. Just the sieges with hell, they don't have enough anti heal, so those sieges are endless. Do we have enough damage? We do have enough damage. Let's slow him down a little bit, apply more damage. I have 100 MP5 in case you didn't notice, so I don't give a rat's ass about all that mana issue. That's an Aegis. Such an extended fight. Like I already pointed out, we cannot even take the objective properly, but they just keep coming one by one. And that's not the play. They need to allow us to take something and group up and then make a fight. If they keep coming like that, we could just murder them all the time. Because I have infinite mana at this point and I have healing. That's all my team needs to win. For some reason we decided to call back and my team instead allows the enemy team to group up and engages for a tower that we don't really need at this point. And the enemy team, as they should, take that fight because I'm not no longer there. And it looks like my team doesn't realize that they were winning because I was there. I had to burn my blink here, it's fine. New way is still killing herself. Look at that. No mana, mage, support. Deep into the enemy phoenix for no reason. What is this? She's now gonna pretend that she's baiting them for us to take fire, but that was not the case. She just straight up walked into the enemy phoenix without mana as a support mage and died. That was straight up suicide. Oh. Looks like I am DC'd here. Ooh, look at that sweet animation. Okay, we're back. It's fine. Your team has destroyed a they secured Erlang. He was pretty low, as he should be. Heimdallar looks like straight up AFK in the right lane. So we're gonna push for the left Phoenix. Jingwei should not be there. Unfortunately, she is, and that just means that we cannot take the objective. We need to back off here. They're gonna defend that. Their whole team is here. And Jingwei, what is she doing? This is very unfortunate. We're losing pressure off of that. Even though we have a fire giant, we don't really do anything. We need to group up and take the right lane, but okay. Full defense uh, support mage picking up my red buff is very impressive, but we're not gonna do well on that too much. Arthur's in mid, we should engage. Ratatoshka looks like paying attention, that's great. Erlang is looking for me straight up, but yeah, he, apparently he caught a couple crits, so that's over. Arthur is looking for me as well. Nobody is peeling for me, I can survive for some time, but not a lot. 
But I think my team should be able to secure the Phoenix and if they murder this Geb, they should successfully kill the Arthur as well. Secure the Phoenix and just grab the Titan because the whole enemy team is dead. Top damage team as we should be. They're chasing kills, unfortunately. Erlang Sheng is coming back, and my team is not committing to the Titan for some reason, but that should be game despite that. Yeah, everything went well. We're part of 24 kills out of 32. Pretty significant, I would say. And also top damage on the team. So in terms of build, uh, I got Rata to Hootie. <laughs> I started off with the Mage's Blessing, got Rata to Hootie first item. Even though I was aiming at Chronos Pendant, I overstayed a little bit and got a couple good plays. That allowed me to get Rata to Hootie, which is an insane power spike early game if you can pick it up. So I usually do that if the situation arises. Most of the times it works pretty well. Shoes of Focus because cooldown is extremely powerful in hell. You want to juggle these abilities, want to fire them mostly non-stop so the cooldown allows you to do that and Chronos Pendant same idea even better with the passive Divine Rune because they have some insane healing on their team they have King Arthur who is only getting shut down by anti-heal because Gladiator's shield on him is so effective with his ability to spam AoE hit abilities and heal insane amounts with it uh, best application of Gladiator's shield in the game bar to none Erlang Sheng as well have an ultimate that heals and Heimdaller, despite it being a really dumb idea, have Aussie. That's a very poor item for Heimdaller, but he still have it, it still provides a lot of healing and we still shut this down with Divine. We also opted for Soul Reaver because we need that additional penetration and even more power and mana. And Gem of Iso is not really a good pickup, I just randomly click on some power item because the game was finished. They were starting to chase me down and slowing them up allowing me to self peel a little bit better and just having a little bit extra HP probably would have helped me to survive a little bit longer or entirely so that might not be as bad of an item as I think. We're a part of 24 kills comparatively to the enemy Nox who is a part of 10 out of 23. Our kill participation is the highest in the match. We're also second highest gold on the team so overall pretty good. And in terms of damage we have 35k which is bar to none highest on the field nobody comes even remotely close we also healed up 18 almost 19k which is might be considered even more valuable than the player damage just 18k that's insane 10 kills on a squishy all over again that's a lot of healing in terms of warding uh, we are amongst the highest on our team unfortunately our jungler wasn't putting enough wards and our mage support as you can expect from somebody who picks a new one and support put down just the exhaust free ward amount of wards which is a big no-no for a support on the enemy team the adc didn't even exhaust the free ward everybody else are mediocre except for arthur who put down okay amount of wards comparatively to the enemy mid I out damaged Nox by over twice the amount. Our solo laner is getting actually out damaged quite significantly too, by close to twice the amount as well. That might explain why this game felt pretty even. The other reason is probably our new WA, even though building full tank, participating in less kills than I did, considering her ultimate, that's a really really poor participation. But she out damages the enemy support expectedly its gap by over twice the amount. But her presence was barely noticed. Her impact on the game was just just wasn't there. Our jungler, comparatively to the enemy jungler, does pretty similar amount of damage, and our ADC is getting out damaged by a significant amount, but nothing really drastic. So 
pretty much this game is entirely on my shoulders. I made the most impact, I kept my team alive, those extended team fights just, oh my god. Basically just put my player healing along with my player damage, you get 53k and just compare that to anyone else on the field. And this is why right now Hell is considered to be like S tier by a lot of players. I would not agree with S tier, she's really easy to shut down if you focus her properly and start off early with that. But if you don't, she might be a powerhouse, especially if you don't focus her in the late game. Those extended team fights, they can get really ugly really fast. Because yeah, the anti-heal is there, but if the Siegen team just backs off a little bit, allow the Divine Runes and Beat Stick to come off, then she can heal up your whole team entirely. And if somebody on your team that is defending backed off to the Fountain in this instance, you're gonna lose an objective. And considering pro teams have a lot of communication, this works really really effectively for them however not something you can encounter very often in ranked games so i would not put her as high as s tier but she's definitely above the focal point of balance and hopefully guys you enjoyed hell mid if you're new to the channel please subscribe it helps me immensely ring that notification bell it helps the youtube algorithm to think that people actually enjoy my content which i hope you do if you like the video obviously like the video it also helps the youtube algorithm with the same idea and if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day